As you can see, it's a very gloomy day outside. It's my type of day. I love gloomy days. I hate sunny days. Maybe it's because I live in California and we rarely get them, but we've been getting them a lot this week. I woke up and I was thinking I'm really hungry and maybe I should vlog my audition. What it's like, okay. I was thinking. I should do a day in my life with an audition during quarantine. And today I'm auditioning for Disney Channel. So um, I'm gonna make Brig Face. Ooh, what should I make? This feels so weird because I'm not a vlogger. Yeah, bro, we're making a Brig Face burrito. Protein smoothie on the side. This looks like an old person's neck, bro. Lately, my smoothies have not been hitting. This is Michaela's meaningful quick tips for acting. The little quick tip for memorizing your scripts. I always make sure to read my script before I go to bed. I will literally have it like that in the next day. So like go over it for an hour or two hours before you go to bed. And <clears throat> I swear, you'll wake up and you'll know it. Cause I was on New Girl and I was talking to Olivia Rodrigo about this. <laughs> it's so crazy. She's literally blown up and it's just, I mean, she was big before. I'm so glad that her talent is shining and it's really amazing, but we were working together and they had script changes and we had to learn it overnight. And I was like, yeah, no. To memorize my scripts, I just read it before I go to bed. She's like, oh yeah, I do that with my, my studying for school. She says she reads it before she goes to bed and it helps you memorize. So y'all give it a try. That's my quick tip. I'm going to clean my room right now because it's very messy. All this nail stuff and acrylic paints because I was doing this bags and everything my bed is messy my homework's on the floor ah time to get to cleaning oh my gosh this is a time lapse and you know what you can do by the end of it before it ends you have to subscribe before the time lap ends a few more seconds hurry it's running out of time subscribe I just finished cleaning my room. It looks way better. And I actually have to go to French class, but after I'm going to work out and then get ready for my audition. I just finished showering. I'm about to pick out an outfit. My character in the simplest way of not saying it but literally revealing it she's out of this world wink wink very um interstellar human not human this person is so i need definitely like a space cadet sort of like outfit um, i'm wearing a sports bra right now because this is disney and disney's a kids channel if you are a girl who has you know uh, the female anatomy that is pretty well developed for your age, then you should wear a sports bra because Disney does not like chest. So it's just a little rule of thumb. This looks very, I'm from a spaceship. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get ready to do my hair. Now, since I'm an extraterrestrial being, I want to do something with my hair that's pretty um, big. And I just realized that I'm literally filming. 
the wrong way. Whenever I do my hair, I always part it into two sections. And I think that this roll will be really good for me because I'm an extraterrestrial being. I have a big forehead, so I think that's like very like this vibe. This is the best cream in the world for my hair. Literally, it takes like an hour to do my hair. When I got this audition, I saw that um, the casting director, I knew her because I had done a workshop with her like when I first started acting and I've been out for a lot, a lot of her projects, but I was really worried. I was like, oh my gosh. I know the type of projects she casts. She's obviously for Disney. And if you guys know Disney, you would know that they do typically cast young or kids that are, they look really young so that they can keep them for a long time without them, you know, looking older. I've always been extremely tall for my age. Now I think I've stopped growing and I'm like a good height for my age. I'm 5'6 and I'm 17. When I was 10, I worked on Melissa and Joey and like I was 10 years old and I was playing 13 um, and I was like going on a date. I've always looked older and I just want to let you guys know there's a lot more to acting than just talent. I'm pretty sure if you ask any casting director, they've seen so many talented people and if like you go in a room and you do your best the casting might say yeah you did amazing you are so talented but you just aren't right for this role it's not always about whether you did a like amazing job because i've been to auditions and i've been like oh my gosh i killed it heck yeah bro let's go i'm gonna book this and then it's like you don't hear anything you're like wow i don't know what i did wrong but it's important to know as an actor that you'll never ever know and it's just, you know, it depends on what the writer wants, what the production needs. My friend was out for this Nickelodeon pilot and she lost the role because she was two inches too tall. Even this, this is ages 16 to 19, I'm pretty sure. Usually when you're a minor, you'll miss out on roles uh, because they'll end up going to people who are over 18 because they don't have to be supervised by a parent. They don't need to pay for a set teacher. There's a lot of benefits to not having to deal with a minor. So that's kind of the disadvantage for me with this role. So who knows, maybe they will cast somebody older who's over 18 to play this job because it'll work for the production, not necessarily because I don't have talent or another person doesn't have talent, but it's, it always just, it always depends. So I want you guys to know that through your journey what's yours is yours um so you just have to remember that as an actor because it's very important acting is rejection i'm crazy yeah i hope that this chill little video will give you some knowledge and wisdom from my years of experience <laughs>
next thing I do is I go in with concealer and I take care of my dark spots just because I have a lot um, of acne scars because I'm a girl with acne. Okay, this is my first time using a brush for foundation. Considering all the beauty videos I watch, and like I watch them for fun, like I'm not like a huge like beauty person. I don't do my makeup every day. I feel like watching beauty videos is kind of therapeutic. Is that just me? I love just seeing them transform. But then when, it, when I do my makeup, I'm just like, what's going on? I watch so many hours of beauty videos to like not know how to do anything. I'm gonna put on more concealer under my eyes. You know how people do the triangle concealer? That's so weird to me. I can't put on that much makeup. So yes, when did I become a beauty channel? I don't know. This is like a micro finishing powder. And I just like... I'm going to go in with my fancy contour stick truffle beauty influencer see me gone go back contour c'est fini d'accord uh, maintenant um, maquillage Maquillage. I think French. Hello. I have the James Charles palette. Just to get that definition in my eye again. So after that, I always kind of just go in with like a color and I'll put it on my eyelid. I just put it on my nose. So I'm just gonna take better than Schmanks mascara. People say you're not supposed to apply creams over powders, which I understand, and I'm gonna do it anyway, so. I need to put a lot of blush just because we're going for that, like, anime look. I learned this one on set, just add the blush to your eye area, and it makes it look a lot more natural. It's just more color to your face, and it makes it look really cute, so. With actually good lighting, okay. So this is me like this. So let's go see how it looks. Might need a little more powder to see it kind of oily, but I think this is cute. Low battery. Okay. <clears throat> Honestly, there would be no change in or growth. <sighs> It's not you. But I got this one, so, um... And at, so that's the part where kids fight amongst ourselves, bro. And fight a... Pot is wrong. And fight amongst us? Okay, yeah, yeah. Here we go. I finished my sale tank. Thanks to my sister, I had the energy to complete it. Thanks, Mick Glasser. And remember how I cleaned my room? Yeah. 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 So I'll be cleaning as well. Clean up. Um, and I took out my hair a little bit, but I think it went real, real, real. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along today with me. I'm going to make some food and yeah. So, and you guys also kind of got to see it, like transformation, like Michaela this morning to Michaela right now. I love having the power of like being able to be ugly when I want, but then pretty when I want. Power of choice. If you enjoyed this video, please like it so more people can find it. And that would be amazing. I would love for more people to see this channel. If you guys want to know how to audition for Disney Channel or whatever network, leave it in the comment section below. Tell me what you want to see. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, please. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.